Welcome back to Pure Science Education. Today we're looking at classification, which always comes up in Key Stage 3, in normally in Year 8. So, what is classification? In order to do classification, we can say living things can do seven processes, normally known as Mrs. Gren. Movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, re reproduction, excretion and nutrition. So, if you were to look at classification, how do we divide species? What do we do? So, as you can see, there are many different species in the world and each have their different characteristics that we can split them into. So, let's sort them out. So, scientists classify living things and they put them into different groups. They normally use binomials or two names for the system for naming organisms and this has helped them um, to classify things for many centuries. Can you think of any reasons why will the scientists do that? So scientists are doing this to characterize um, different organisms into different groups. So let's look at what classification is. So all organisms can be classified into two different categories, plant kingdom and animal kingdom. And within plant and animal kingdom, we can have different species. Each species has an individual with the same physical characteristics and common ancestors. So how do we go further into dividing these? So if I was to really go um, take it to the next level, I can say animal um, kingdom can be split into vertebra, which have the backbone. And vertebras do not have a backbone. All vertebrates can be mammals, reptiles, amphibian, fish and birds. And if you look at the invertebrates, it's um, anthropods or non-anthropods, which then get split into further species. So, as a bigger picture, we have the organism that can then be split into plants and animals. Animals can then be split into vertebrates and invertebrates, and further split into amphibians birds, reptiles, fish and mammals. So if you then look at each of these categories, each of them have specific characteristics. So we can then say this is why we put them into these um, little boxes. So for example, birds will have um, wings to fly. If you look at fish, they will have gills to breed underwater and so on. A really quick snapshot of what classification is and how we classify plants and animals into different groups hope to see you soon don't forget to subscribe and press like thank you